Big news, Atlantic City Council has recently approved a $2.7 billion proposal from Deem Enterprises called the Renaissance that includes a private Formula One raceway to develop Bader Field. In this video, I'm going to share with you a brief history of Bader Field and then dive into the details on this development and what it means for Atlantic City. So Bader Field is located behind me here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's a former airport with a rich history dating back to the 1900s. The 143 acre property was first used as a landing strip for seaplanes and eventually grew into a fully functioning airport in the 1920s. During its heyday, Bader Field was a bustling hub for commercial and private aviation, serving as the primary airport for Atlantic City until it was closed in 2006. Bader Field, also known as Atlantic City Municipal Airport, was a city-owned public-use general aviation airport named after the former mayor of Atlantic City, Edward L. Bader. It was the world's first airport built specifically for fixed wing aircraft. Located less than a mile across the intercoastal waterway from the landmark original convention hall, it was Atlantic City's principal airport during the city's Miss America Golden Age. Its decline began in 1958 when the former Naval Air Station was converted to a joint civilian and military use as Atlantic City International Airport. It's about nine miles further inland. Private planes had continued to use the airport until 2006. The airport land, which has a scenic view of Atlantic City's boardwalk casinos, has long been considered prime real estate for luxury usage or casino, but efforts to develop it have so far not succeeded. And after its closure, Bader Field sat unused for years with various proposals for redevelopment being put forth and then discarded. But now a new development plan is in the works that could breathe new life into this historic property. The new development proposal for Bader Field, Renaissance at Bader Field, is a planned $2.7 billion net zero carbon LEED platinum community that will transform the city of Atlantic City, New Jersey economy. The fundamental design approach to this new community is rooted in resilient and sustainable design methodologies while using a microgrid concept for energy generation and distribution. It will serve as a model for future self-sustaining projects the world over. The big draw of the community is creating a private world-class motorsports destination. Surrounding the race course will be an environmentally friendly community with condos and housing. This was first proposed in January of 2022. The project being developed by Deem Enterprises LLC calls for a 2.44 mile Formula One track surrounded by hundreds of condominiums built to withstand hurricane force winds along with an educational facility, shopping and restaurants, and a high rise hotel. The interesting thing about the race course is that it will be for electric race cars. The motor course designed by a top motorsports track designer from Spain currently doesn't include any sound mitigation. The electric powered race cars would not create enough noise to bother Albany Avenue in the city's uh, Chelsea neighborhood over here. In March, Atlantic City Mayor Marty Small Jr. signed a memorandum of understanding with the developer. And this is a step that allows the redevelopment of this historic 143 acre site to move forward. Atlantic City Council also passed a resolution approving the execution of the memorandum. So as part of the memorandum, Deem Enterprises can do their due diligence on the Baderfield site, the mayor said in a statement issued last month. So the memorandum allows the developer time to determine whether it can deliver on the project. And if so, the city and developer then would reach an official redevelopment agreement. If approved, Atlantic City stands to make $115 million as part of the deal, including as much as $15 million toward building a new recreation center for the casino resort. Deem also has a clause in the memorandum of understanding, so the land would return to the city if the project falls through, according to Atlantic City attorney Dan Gallagher, who represents Deem. This new community will act as a catalyst for the financial rebirth of Atlantic City by attracting new job, creating industries, uh, and the city's tax base will increase as well, and diversifying future businesses in the city. So here's my take on this. I like this proposal. It's something different. It will attract new and wealthier buyers to Atlantic City. The race course will draw some auto enthusiasts to the community. And you know, while they're here at the community, it'll be easy to stop in, 
at the casinos, go to a show, enjoy some local dining from the wonderful local restaurants here. Um, I could also see this plan as a plus in creating some local jobs and possible some education opportunities in automotive and racing industry. So with a new development proposal, Baderfield has the potential to become a shining example of sustainable community-focused urban development. If all goes according to plan, this once neglected area you see behind me could be a thriving hub of activity and vitality in Atlantic City. So what's it like living in Atlantic City and the Atlantic County area? Find out by watching this video here, the pros and cons video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this proposal and subscribe for updates as I will be following this development very closely.